Christmas. Merry Christmas, baby. This is the hinge that everything spins on. All right, this is Eclair cake. The Peninsula Rescue Mission has been a part of Faith DeFries' family for three generations. Ever since her grandfather founded it in 1966. It's so much of my life is wrapped up in the mission. For her, Christmas Eve is not only a family tradition. He is the Messiah of the Lord. But also a mission tradition. I remember coming down with my grandparents and, and doing this with them. This is just the center of Christmas for our family. Was he a ham, seafood, or both? Do we know? Serving up Christmas Eve dinner and cheer for men from around the community. And picturing the guys. I think about their stories and what's brought them here. And one. So what's this one? Ham. ham. By one. So that's a ham. By one. So that's a both. She makes sure no one goes hungry this holiday. That is my mission. Chris Jackson is one of about three dozen people being served dinner at the mission. He first came to the mission last week. It's a blessing, you know, to be here. Thursday, he and others not only got a hot meal. Oh, yes. Nice. But also a gift to celebrate Christmas. Having the opportunity to make Christmas special for guys who don't have anywhere else to go. Like when you really stop and think about that. If you had anywhere else to be on Christmas Eve, you would be there. And so that they can be here. It means a big deal to me because, you know, a lot of people don't get gifts and stuff. You know. Some of us are helping us each other in different ways. While it may look a little different due to COVID, in the season of giving, many are giving some who face challenges a Christmas to remember. Full plates, full hearts, and high hopes for whatever may lie ahead. You got to keep your head up. You know, keep the faith, keep hope alive. You know, it ain't going to get better. We fall down sometimes, but, you know, we can get ourselves back up. In Newport News. Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy New Year's. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.